everyone and thanks for joining us for another Take 5 with Travel Gossip. Today I'm joined with Gary from the National Comedy Centre. Thanks for joining us Gary. Thanks for having me. How are you doing today? Good. Good. It's great to have you with us. Um, so tell us Gary, for clients who are travelling to New York State, why should the Comedy Centre be on their must visit list? Well, the National Comedy Center is the uh, United States official cultural institution for the art form of comedy. Uh, it's uh, a very new museum. It's only been around for five years. Uh, it's an easy day trip from Niagara Falls and Buffalo, so you can uh, you can do it and go to Chautauqua County, Jamestown, where we're located, and come back uh, in the same day, or you can spend uh, two, two to five days in Chautauqua County, and we can talk about that a little bit too. But it is one of the most uh, interactive and immersive museums in the world right now, and it's just a wonderful celebration of American comedy. And I think uh, American comedy is just a great way to learn about American culture and American heritage, and you spend the whole day laughing. So we have um, just incredible interactive uh, exhibits. We have uh, the uh, we have artifacts from all all sorts of comedians, and we talk about not not just not only stand up, but uh, television and movies and sketch and improv, really the whole range of comedy. So you touched on this a little bit already, but it is a very interactive museum, right. one of the most interactive in the world. Um, so can you tell us a bit more about the visitor experience? Yes. When you go into the lobby of the National Comedy Center, you, you create a laugh band, which I, I have one on my wrist right now. It's, uh, it's, it has an RFID chip on, in it, and you tell us about the kind of comedy that you like. So you tell us at a kiosk, uh, your favorite comedians, your favorite TV shows and movies, and it's all stored on this laugh band. And then as you go through the exhibits, you'll scan the laugh band and it will it will call up comedy content based on the kind of comedy that you like. So it's a, an incredibly personalized experience as you go through the museum. Uh, we, uh, we have just incredible interactive exhibits. We have something called the Comedy Continuum, which is a 60-foot uh, touchscreen video wall where you see the, the uh, collaborations and the connections between comedians. You're kind of, it's kind of like six degrees of Kevin Bacon, and you can build a spider web of connections. We have Comedy Karaoke, where you can uh, get up on stage and perform some of the greatest stand-up routines of all time, just like music karaoke, only it's stand-up routines, and that's a lot of fun too. It, it's, it's so immersive that kids and families enjoy it, as well as uh, couples. Um, there's a lot, just a lot of immersive things to do. You can put yourself inside uh, TV and movie scenes, like an I Love Lucy scene, or a scene from Abbott and Costello, or uh, Saturday Night Live, Dumb and Dumber, the movie, your Anchorman, the movie, so you can literally put yourself in those scenes, so it's a lot of fun. Wow, it does sound like such a fun yes. place to visit, so definitely should be on everyone's bucket list. Now, I know that you represent another museum as well, That's so right. can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, so we're in Jamestown, New York, which is Lucille Ball's uh, hometown, and so we have the Lucille Ball Desi Arnaz Museum uh, just a few blocks away from the National Comedy Center celebrating Lucy and Desi and I Love Lucy, which was probably the greatest television comedy of all time, at least American television comedy. And so we take you behind the scenes so you can explore their lives and careers and I Love Lucy. We have recreated sets from I Love Lucy that you can take your picture on. Uh, you can recreate some of the episodes yourself and kind of put yourself in those episodes. Um, we also tell the story of Desi Lu Studios. Desi Lu Studios was the largest independent uh, television studio of its time and not only uh, produced I Love Lucy, but uh, the original Star Trek and Mission Impossible. So we, we take you behind the scenes and what it was like to produce television in the 1950s and the 1960s. Brilliant. Thanks so much, Gary, and for giving us such a great overview to these fantastic attractions. It's been great having you with us, sure. and thanks to everyone for watching as well. Thank you.